guess the, that's the wonderful thing about the internet, right? Is you used to have to go to film school to be able to get access to these kinds of things. Even just watching movies was really challenging back then. You have to get access to a film print. Now you can read critical studies and you can go on Netflix and you can watch everything. And then along with that sort of, uh, you know, making your own critical studies program and just sort of gravitating towards the movies you like, there are so many websites out there that you can learn from, like Screen Crafting, No Film School, International Screenwriters Association, uh, Blacklist, um, you know, just, just for screenwriters alone, those are amazing. John August's website, um, you know, I think there are just a multitude of perspectives out there, and, and my concept for No Film School is sort of but with John August or, or Ted Hope, Ted Hope has an amazing uh, film yeah. production blog as well. What would those guys' websites look like if they started from a nobody? You know, uh -huh. if it came not, if they didn't start it when they were already uh, famous screenwriters and producers, but when they started, as they were just some guy, cool. and that's where No Film School came from. But there, you know, obviously there are so many other resources as well, and awesome. then Twitter, Script Chat. Yeah. Uh, just there's so much stimulus out there, I guess, that it's easy to to stay engaged. It depends on which tools. You know, I think it's sort of like the right tool for the right job. Um, Facebook is, is much stickier than Twitter. Twitter can kind of, you know, you can tweet out something and feel depressed because no one responded or retweeted it. It just goes away. But at the same time, you can sometimes get in touch with people on Twitter that you wouldn't be able to find otherwise. Uh, so for me, when I ran my Kickstarter campaign for Manchild, one of the things that happened is uh, Jeannie Buss, who's the executive at the Los Angeles Lakers, saw it on Twitter and was sitting there with her uh, now husband, Phil Jackson, who's the winningest basketball coach of all time, and they saw my basketball film, feature film, and they backed it on Kickstarter for um, you know, a significant amount that I, that I was like, oh, who just, who was that? And you know, my head exploded, and that never would have happened. That's really cool. That just Twitter. came out of the blue from Twitter. Yeah, yeah. That came, actually, it wasn't even me tweeting it. It was somebody who was uh, backing the campaign retweeting it and uh, well that's the power that's of social media right there exactly. that's really cool